Today I wanted to show you a sew-in job that I did. And the hair that I used was the hair from Rocky Trading from my haul. It was the European Curl hair. Synthetic hair. And it's European Curl 16 inches. I thought this was really pretty for the summertime. So by then I should be able to have my sew-in down pat. Because I've been saying I'm going to do a sew-in for the longest. I, have, I put two packs of hair in the back. And then I also bought this Free Trust Equal Weave. It's the Appeal. And it actually matched that curl pattern perfectly. So the hair from Rocky Trading was 16 inches, and that's in the back. And then the Appeal, which is 18 inches, I actually have that in the front and did it as my invisible part. Um... This time, I did the invisible part a little bit differently. I just basically braided my hair back into cornrows, and then I just put the part on that. I mean, put the um, track on those across those three cornrows. So I did that because last time it was kind of hard taking. Um, sorry about that. It was kind of hard taking the, the weave out of the individual tracks. I don't know. So I saw another girl on YouTube that did the invisible part, but she did it this way. And, you know, I was going to try that, that method too to see which one was better. So last night I put my hair in these twists. And what I did was I just used a water and olive oil mixture that I had left over from something else. And separated it into these little sections, sprayed it down, and combed it out, um, and then I put it into these twists last night. So I'm going to take them out and um, wear my hair like this today. I haven't been putting any type of, well, the only product that I put in my hair was my John Frieda Frizz, Frizz Ease. And I just sprayed a little bit on top of the hair and kind of did like this, maybe like the second day that I put the hair in. But other than that, I haven't done anything to my hair. And then for my hair underneath, what I did last night for the first time was I used a water mixture with my Carefree Curl um, and peppermint oil. And I shook that up and then I went through as I was doing my sections I went through each uh, braid and sprayed it on my scalp so um, that's what I'm gonna do this go around as far as moisturizing my hair and see how that goes and then for as far as the braiding pattern that I use I use the similar one from last time I did the whole zigzag method in the back and then I just did cornrows going all the way back until about right here and then I did the zigzag method and I like that method better than what I was doing before so I think I'm gonna stick with that it's just easier to braid I guess I kind of did that similar method but then I had you know the small cornrows and that's what took long so I guess this method that I have on now is faster. But it still took me forever to do the sewing, so that's just something I have to work on and get better at, but <clears throat> I definitely like the sewing. So I'm just going to take these out. And I felt, I did this because I felt my hair getting matted. Well, I went to the beach this weekend and I really didn't do my hair. I just kind of kept it in a ponytail. So I didn't comb through it every day. Um, so that's probably why I got a little matted. But I'm going to do better with it from here on out. Since I you know, took the time to comb through it every little section.
Oh, and another thing I was putting on my hair, more so for the scent, was this Victoria's Secret Serum um, that I have that smells really good. It's in a red bottle. It's a pump. It's just like a, a um, frizz serum to control frizz. So I was putting that on my hair as well. And that's it. So since I wear my hair like this, I might end up pulling it back in a ponytail. I'm kinda wearing it in a bun.